Welcome back to the channel. Before I get into what is happening today in this video, there are two things I want to address. If any of you watched the last video that I posted, it was an update on what's going on here. There have been a lot of questions about kind of where I've been, why I've been so slow, what's going on around here, and where is Jeff? So all those questions were answered in the last video. And what I want to touch on from that is, I just wanna say thank you to every single one of you who left a nice comment or messaged me directly on Instagram. The amount of support and kindness and just, you know, well wishes. It was like, I, it's like I know all of you personally or something because the way that you were speaking to me in the messages that you sent and the comments that you left was like you genuinely care about what is happening in my life and what is going to be taking place in the future for me and my kids. So I really, really appreciate that. I'm not sure if any of those words I just said made sense. There's just so many things going on in my head right now because I was just so, so overwhelmed with just the support and the kindness from every single one of you. So thank you for that. I really, really mean that. It was, yeah, it was just really, really nice to read every single one of those messages and comments. So thank you for that. The other thing that I want to touch on is, I got a lot of comments about the cabin, which I did mention at the end of the last video that the cabin is mine. So I will still be going up there. Another major question was if I was still gonna be doing syrup. Yes, I will still be doing syrup. Syrup is not going away. I will still be doing that. Syrup will still be a thing that I do every season. It will still be available on the website. Nothing in that area has changed. Another question was, when am I going to start going back up there again? Because I've been doing most of my videos at home. The reason I've been doing most of my videos at home is just because of the time of the year that it is. Typically, the majority of my content at the cabin starts in the fall and goes through the winter. The bugs up there are so, so bad in the spring and the summer that I don't go there as often. So hunting season is right around the corner. We are, I think, two weeks out from hunting season. So shortly, very, very shortly, the content will be changing to most of the time being at the cabin. There are still a few things that need to be done here at home. The majority of the content will be switching up to the cabin shortly. I've got a couple of things left to do around home before I start going up there. One of those things includes taking down this gigantic mess of a garden. You can see this huge mess behind me. I really, really, really should have taken this down weeks and weeks and weeks ago, but as you know, it's been chaos. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take everything down. I'm gonna lay my tarps out for one of the gardens that I want to put in in the springtime. Should I still be here in the spring? I wanna just have it ready just in case. But this garden here behind me is where I'm gonna be planting my garlic this year. This one over here is where I planted it last year, but. I'm gonna rotate the soil, so I'm gonna be planting it on this side, but I'll get into that on the next video when I actually plant the garlic. For now, I need to take this down. I need to take down my sunflowers, so I did end up taking the heads off them in the last video, and I did harvest all the sunflower seeds, and they're inside drying right now, so I have a huge baking tray full of sunflower seeds, which is excellent, so I will use those for next year. I need to take down my corn. It is dead, 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 but that is irrelevant. Right now, it's time to start taking this down. I think the only thing left in the garden here is a few stalks of celery. I'm pretty sure. So we'll find out shortly what's still left in there, but I'm pretty sure that's all that's left. On that note, it's time to get started. As you can see, the corn is done. So we did get some corn off of it. And honestly, I'm not just saying this because I grew it, but this corn was so good this year. It was super sweet. It was the perfect texture. It wasn't too hard. It wasn't too soft. It was just perfect, honestly, the way it was. So we did enjoy some corn off of it, but it is done. So it is time to rip this out.
I'm trying to shake off as much dirt as I can from these. This soil is really good. This is the first year I've ever planted in it. So I want to try and save as much of it as I can. I'll till this all up again in the spring and then I'll add more amendments to it. But I want to keep as much of the dirt here as I can. You know, it's funny, when I planted that, I don't remember there being that many seeds that I put in. That seemed like it took forever for some reason. But the corn's all pulled out. This area, the soil is nice and loose still, so it still looks really good. I'll probably rake this out. The potato patch is right beside it. That needs to be raked out too. I think once everything is pulled out of here, I'll rake it all out. I have a whole bunch of chicken manure that's been sitting since last year, so, I'll probably put that in here and mix it up and then just leave it until the springtime. I don't know that I'm going to add anything to this for the fall. I haven't decided yet, but I don't think so. Anyways, the corn's done. The potatoes I pulled a few weeks ago. And I think it's time to move on to the sunflowers. I'm a little bit concerned because the stalks on those are super thick. And I cannot find my little hedge shear things, whatever those things are called. The giant scissors. I can't find them. So I'm going to have to try and yank them out, but I don't really know how that's going to go. Okay, so that's not gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to pull them out. I can snap them off, but that's actually not very helpful because then I'm gonna have all these stalks in the ground. Um, maybe it might work. Maybe I will just snap them off and then I'll get a shovel and dig them out after. I mainly just need to get them taken down because they're obnoxious right now and they're blowing over and they're just, they're not looking too good. So maybe I will just snap them off and then I'll sort the stalks out later. Of course, as I say that, <laughs> the next one comes right out of the ground. Every single time that happens. Why wouldn't that happen? Okay, I think that was just a one-off because now they're all snapping off. They're not coming out like the other one. This is the last one, as you can see, and it's of course the biggest one. So I'm sure it will not come out. But look at the size of this head, it's crazy comparison to my hand. This would have been a really great one if the birds didn't get to it. But even when I came out here to start filming this video, I heard this weird like knocking noise and I was like, what is that? And then I realized it was actually a bird picking out the last little bits of seeds out of here. So this would have been a really great one to get the seeds out of, but there's the bird right there. But I still got lots, so that's okay. Maybe next year. This is so crazy to look at. I mean, the space looks huge now that there's nothing in it, but it also feels kind of small. I'm not sure, that seems very contradictory, but I just can't believe it's already done. Like the season's already done. I'm gonna go over to the herbs here. The basil is completely fried. We got frost last night. I think it was last night or the night before. So the basil is toast, the rosemary, the thyme, the sage, the parsley, and the oregano. 
they are still growing. So I'm hoping I've got a little bit more time with them, but the basil looks like rubber. So it is time to pull that out. I'm not sure if you can see on the screen there, but this, it actually looks like seaweed. That's probably a good way to explain it. That stuff that's at the end of your dock that just grows that you can't get rid of. That's exactly what this looks like. It is toast. It's definitely dead, but it smells really good still. You can see here, this is my parsley and it is still very, very much alive. It's super healthy still. It's still growing really well. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to let it go. I should honestly probably be able to get another, well, probably another week or two out of it for sure. And then, uh, I'll have to keep an eye on the weather though, because once it gets down to being too cold for a couple days in a row, this is all going to die. So I'll probably cut it all down shortly and that way I can dry it and then still have some for the winter. And the rosemary's here too. It looks great too. Still very much alive. Excellent. This is the main garden and as you can see it is dead <laughs> nothing's really left in here there's some peppers left on the plants but i don't think they're even good anymore no because it was frosty the other night last night or the night before everything is just soft and mushy right now and feels quite rubbery the chickens have come in here and done quite a number on cleaning up well a significant amount of this to be quite honest because this is a lot smaller than it should be. There was way more in here when I planted it. Obviously it's dead, so it looks different, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff missing in here. So tomatoes are at the front here and the zucchini was at the front. So I'm gonna take all that down. I need to rip out the peppers. There's some celery at the back. The beans have died on the fence. Everything just completely got away from me. This year has just been, well, it's been something, so. I got a lot of cleaning up to do in here. I want to pull all this out. This is where I'm going to be planting my garlic, like I said. So I really need to get this cleaned up today because I really need to get my garlic in the ground. I mean, ideally by, well, by next weekend, hopefully. On that note, I need to start pulling everything out. giant mess this is look at that there's a cucumber on there still that I missed I just found this really disgusting <laughs> zucchini just tucked away in the corner it's literally jelly on top it's not not good I must have missed that I've missed a whole bunch of stuff because there's tons of cucumbers on the ground in here that I did not see and when the garden was fully blooming bloomed whatever the right word is and the garden was like in full function. I couldn't see anything because there's so much green and foliage and just vines and leaves everywhere that I couldn't see some of the stuff. So there's actually tons of stuff on the ground, which I did not see and in turn got wasted, which is really too bad. So you can see on here, there's some peppers, but you can also see how squishy that is. Again, the frost got to that, so those are no good.
just about at the end here. This is all I have left. You can see the celery still here. It didn't really do very well this year. Last year, my celery was so good. The stalks were huge and it was super tall. This kind of did not really do very well this year. So I don't really know what that was about, but this is just my leftover Brussels sprouts and the cauliflower with a couple cabbages. They're not very big, but they are still good, so. Oh, no, that one has caterpillars living in it, so that one's no good either. The chickens getting out this season and not staying in their coop really, really did a huge number on the garden at the end of the season. At the beginning of the season, it wasn't too bad. I don't know if it was just because there's so much foliage in here and it was just way too thick for them to even kind of navigate in here. But around August or so, they figured out the garden was here and I could not keep them out of it. So I lost a lot of stuff. They pecked off all my Brussels sprouts, which is really, really a shame because this is the first year I've actually grown them where they actually grew on the plant. So, that's kind of annoying, but I'm going to have to do different fencing next year. This is electric fence, which does not work on the chickens because they can walk right in between it. So I need to do chicken wire or some kind of mesh wire or something because all the work that I put into here, the chickens came in and ate a significant portion of it at the end of the season, which is really too bad. So I've ripped everything out of the garden. The only thing that's left here are the beans on this page wire that I have here. But you know, what a great idea it was to put the page wire there and put the beans on it because it, it made them grow up. So I got way more beans than I normally would have if I had just let them grow on the ground. So this was great. They grew up, I got tons of beans. Everything is wonderful, but the thing is is they are so wound in that fencing that I cannot get them out. I think because everything's still kind of, you know, it's not, hasn't been cold enough for it to freeze completely. So it's a bit rubbery still. So it's really hard to unwind from the fence. So I might leave the beans for now and wait for it to get a bit colder and then pull them off because they should just break off. Right now they're woven in there and I can't get them out. So I'm, I'm gonna leave that. The last thing in here that needs to come out is the celery. And I'm gonna leave it for now and I'm gonna pull a couple at a time for the next couple days and then cut them up and vacuum seal them and put them in the freezer. I don't have time to do it right now because the kids are gonna be home from school soon and then we have sports and stuff we have to get to. So I'm gonna leave the celery for now and that is gonna be something I do over the next couple days. The beans I'm gonna pull out probably also in the next couple days once it gets a little bit colder. But otherwise, everything is pulled out and I am ready to till this all up and cover it with straw and put it to bed for the winter. So I got everything done I needed to get done, minus the beans, but I'll get to that in the next few days, like I said. So everything is pulled out and I am ready now to till everything, put straw down and put it to bed for the winter. It is crazy to me that this season is over. I mean, it went by both very quickly, but also incredibly slowly probably because of all the changes going on in my life right now. And there was just, I don't know where the last few months went. It's just been a blur, honestly. So the garden is done for the season, which is wild to me. I feel like I just planted it. Looking at this area right now, it looks really small. It's crazy to think of how much food I actually got out of this space because it just seems so tiny right now. Even though it's not, it's like 30 by 60, I think. But yeah, I don't know. It just looks small right now. 
with the end of the season brings all kinds of new stuff. So while the garden is going to bed for the winter, a million other things are going to be ramping up. So stay tuned to see what is coming. That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the website, www.living-different.com. Lots of stuff on there. Soap, lip balm, laundry soap, cast iron skillet, compound, wood butter, you name it. Honestly, there's tons of stuff on there. Preserves, jam, beans, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you check out the website. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at underscore living different. And then you can stay up to date on what I'm doing every day. I post on there regularly lots of stuff. So there's always something there for you to see. That's it for today though. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.